Good kitten once more. Again, I just stopped and started recording. So we don't have any breaks between now and the beginning of the next battle, so we're just going to do all of this at once. I should have grabbed something to drink first, shouldn't I? Uh, try to be strong, Daddy. Il and I, I was a fool. Sent all my men to their deaths. What? Not your fault, you were possessed! Wish that were so. Magic stone, is it good or evil? It's just your power. Just magnifies the user's true nature. I touched the stone and felt its powers. I was seduced by my own demons. I let the power consume me. It's all my fault. My father. Why did you look for the stone? To resist hell spites. I'm certain that hell is planning a coup d'etat in the near future. I knew that in order to stop him, I would need more power. I was desperate, and that desperation led me down the wrong path. We must get the stone back. It holds a frightening secret. Someone's coming. Sorry. Someone's coming. Sup? Ash, how did you... Uh, just forget about it. Let's just get out of here now before anyone notices what the hell Teresa and I just did. Wait, I've got to get the magic stone. The person pulling Dolph's strings is hell spites. We can't let that madman get his hands on the stone. So, you finally caught on, did you? <laughs> but you're too late now, Magnus. What do you mean? We've got that stone you want right here. Friend like you can't appreciate the true power of the stone. But I, on the other hand? Pampered little poodle! I love that line! Ah! You knew what that stone was going to do to me. You knew what that stone was going to do to me, didn't you? <laughs> you reap what you sold. So, General. You came here to betray me, and you deserve what happens to you. That means that... You just said part of your scheme to frame General Magnus? That's right. We were sent here, not just on a secret mission that Dolph sent us on that was obviously a lie. We were not just sent here to go get the stone because General Magnus had failed. No. We were sent here to frame General Magnus. And you know what that means. Haha, <laughs> exactly. I'm disappointed in you, Ash. Your feelings led you the wrong way. Not that it would have mattered anyway. Let me introduce you to my beautiful young assistant. Yep. So remember way back in chapter one, when Dolph had said that she has someone on the inside on the power, that was actually right before Kira had joined us. It was a um, something to throw us off the path in figuring out who it was. Um, the game was trying, I believe the game was trying to indicate that it was either Il and I or Huxley, who had just joined our party, and were both civilians as far as we were concerned. But it was still pretty obvious it was Kira. Even with the dramatic irony that we saw right before the previous battle, it's still Kira. Kira is the one member of the party that had no reason to join us. Also, 
Kira's outfit, what you see right now, is actually very similar to what she looks like as a Hawk Knight. Just wanted to mention that. And I love the dramatic horde that played with the Kira! Kira, how could you? Dots. Thanks to her? Oops. <laughs> well, I think it's just about time for you to die. I won't allow that! <coughs> yep, he still has mighty morphing Power Ranger powers. Seriously, I'm waiting. You still retain power from the stone? I will stop you! No, we're tearing a hole in the time-space fabric! Well, oh, that actually looks better in the satin version, I think. Ah! Slurp. Whoa, slurp. Ugh. Uh, slurp. Yeah. Slurp. Daddy. <laughs> Welcome to the beginning of the game. And that ends Chapter 2, The Island of Madness. Like I said, welcome to the beginning of Vandal Hearts now. Because everything up until now has just been the prologue, as I had mentioned uh, two videos ago now, I believe. Um, that's really important to indicate. We now know what is going, or at least we think we know what is going on with the plot. Namely, Hellspites is going to launch a coup d'etat and take over Astaria. With his pet minion, Dolph, and also his son, Kane Spites. Magnus, Eel and I, Grog, and Sarah have been lost to a hole in time and space. So we have, in fact, split the party at this point. There's actually more to the split. This chapter is going to be the chapter that we will not have our entire party for a while, to put it mildly. You will notice, Kira was not in our party the last battle. And Kira's not going to be here. Um, it is possible to lose items on Kira's inventory that will cause you to not be able to progress the side plot, or the hidden quest line of the game, uh, the various prisms that I've been collecting, or various keys that I've been collecting. So it's good to make sure that Kira doesn't have any items that doesn't have any key items in her inventory prior to leaving. What you may not have noticed is that I've actually been checking on this the entire game to make sure it doesn't happen. Because my second time playing through the game, that's what happened to me. And it screwed me up. I actually had to start over. So, that was Chapter 2, Island of Madness. Oh boy, do we have some narrator talk. Let's give it to the narrator at this point. After the disappearance of Ash and the others, it is announced that General Magnus has been assassinated by an extremist faction within the security yep. forces. That's right. sends shockwaves through the country, and most blame the domestic security agency, which controls the security forces. This results in the ouster of Ronaldo Castillo, Hell Spites' political arch-rival. Defense Minister Hell Spites, highly praised for his quick handling of the terrorist threat, is elected Prime Minister. Uh-huh. And yes, the goose stepping is intentional. Hell requests emergency powers 
from the council. But as soon as he is granted those powers, his tyrannical nature emerges. He abolishes the council, creates a secret police, and establishes a privileged class. Finally, he revives imperialism and claims that he will place himself on the sacred and inviolable Ishtarian Imperium. Realizing the danger, some citizens join anti-imperial movements, but these are easily crushed by the Crimson Guard. Yeah, life sucks. Yep. Welcome to Chapter 3. Escape to tomorrow. After all, this is a fantasy game. Rifts in time-space just mean teleportation to another time, right? That is Eamon. I know for a fact that one's Eamon. Where the heck are we? Don't think our sky is supposed to be that color. Ash, something's wrong with the general. General, hang in there. Ash, it's no good. The end for me. Oh no. I've stared death in the face all my life. I know what she looks like, and I do not fear her cold embrace. Dots. I was raised in a poor farming village. I was going to lead the simple life, following in my father's footsteps. Then the revolution came, and our lives were thrown into turmoil. For country, for ideals, for liberty. But however pretty the slogan, there's no such thing as a good war. So this is the point in the game where it finally clicked in my history brain when I was a child that this entire game is a reference to the French Revolution. Pretty much all of it. Now, it's not a very good reference to the French Revolution. You don't see the guillotine going off the deep end and taking out everybody in power or anything like that. But this is what it's supposed to be a reference to. It's supposed to be a reference to France. Enlightenment era France. Which is part of the reason why the Japanese aspects of this haven't really come to pass all that much. They call me a hero, but I'm just a murderer with blood on his hands. But think of the people you saved, like Eel and I. Eel and I. Fifteen years ago, I found her wandering around the ruins of her town. Adopting her was my attempt to make restitution for my sins. Ash, don't make the same mistakes I made. You must stop Hell and Dolph. Return this land to its former greatness. Make Ishtaria great. No. I beg you, Ash. Retrieve the magic stone. General! General Magnus! Herc. Dead. Fade to black. And... Grave sight in the middle of this purple land. Land? Purple land. Too bad we had to bury him in this weird place. Uh... Feels very wrong here. What are these things? I don't know, but they're attacking. Yep, we're back like at the start of the game again. We only have three characters. Luckily, this is a relatively simple battle. And, uh, if I remember correctly, there is nothing to be found here. But I am definitely double-checking because, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing to be found here. 
Um... Yeah, the next hidden item is actually a couple of battles from now, so. All right. So we're fighting Sparkies. Sparkies are flying units, which is going to suck because all three of our characters are weak against flying. Luckily, they're only level eight, so it's not that big of a deal. It's just obnoxious. Let's go ahead and make a battle save here. They're not too hard to fight, it's just we're going to be taking a lot of damage. And they're worth a decent amount of XP, which helps. Okay, Grog, I'm going to have you be closer to Sarah. The reason being is that Sarah's a little weaker and also can heal Grog, whereas Ash can heal himself. And they're also going to be coming after Ash, primarily. So I think this might be all of them. This might be a really simple battle. You're dead. <laughs> Tactics, not exactly a sparky strong suit. Um. Yep, that's all of them. There's only five. And Ash leveled up, which is nice. Yep. Well, that was a really easy battle, wasn't it? I've spent 17 minutes. This is actually longer than the previous video. Because plot. So once more, we will be going until we can save. Ah, uh ha. -huh. Well, this is why the spirits were so noisy. Oh, sorry, noisy. Huh? You've destroyed the spirits. That was quite cruel. They're nothing but the wretched souls of those who have died violently. They're harmless if left unprovoked. Harmless? Are you crazy? Those things tried to bite our heads off. They were drawn by the smell of blood. You people have the blood of many on your hands. Who are you? My name is Zohar, and as you can see... I am a hermit. Just by the looks of it, you've just happened to have wandered into this place. You must be at a loss. A little south of here is the only town in the land. Why don't you go there? I'll be seeing you. Strange guy. So, where have I heard that name before? Well, in any case, let's pay this town a visit, I guess. Yep. That's all we've got. The Plateau of Grief in the remote city. There is nothing else on the map. But, as usual, we will be saving at the end of the battle. And I will be stopping recording. Again, this was a really short video. That's the reason why I'm releasing it at the same time as the previous video. I, uh, yeah. I'll talk to you next time, Internet. I don't feel like recording another, actually. I probably will. Bye!